Hello friends, I am Vijayan Valiyavarayil. All are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session 21 video, we are going to see how coaching stocks as well as good stocks are secured in yards. Now let us go straight to the yard of station Y. Our coaching rake is ready here to be shunted to the shunting deck and from there to any of the lines here for placement. After placement, carriage and wagon staff as well as the electrical staff will check the rake and that rake is to be utilized for next day trade. A shunting engine has come and attached to this rake. Shunting staff is ready to take this rake to the yard here for placement. Here is the starter signal for this road one and below that starter shunt signal is available. In the on position the shunt signal will not be having any light that is here it is the position light shunt signal. So when it is taken off it will show two white lights in the diagonal position. Rake is ready it has got sufficient pressure created inside that is 5 kg pressure should be there. For shunting also, 5 kg pressure is to be maintained in the coaches. Now the shunt signal has been taken off by the station master by turning the knob in the panel from the station master's office. Rake is going to be moved into the shunting neck. Here this is the shunting neck. Length of the shunting neck will be mentioned in the station working rules of that particular station. Here the station Y, the station working rules will mention, will state the capacity of this shunting neck. So in major stations where the trains are terminated, where frequent shunting of rakes are there, this shunting neck will be available. This rake is now taken to this shunting neck. From here it will be taken to any of these lines. These roads are not track circuited, whereas here the roads are track circuited. Normally, the roads from shunting neck to the yard, coaching shunting yard or goods shunting yard, the lines will not be track circuited and the points also will not be non interlocked. Here, in this portion of this yard, all the points are interlocked. All these points are motor operated. Only on setting these points properly and also locking it, the signals will come to the off position. In the track circuited area, normally all the points will be motor operated. Here, these lines 5 to 10, all these lines are not track circuited and uh, these points are also not uh, motor operated. These are all locally operated points. These locally operated points should be set and quarter bolt and uh, locked for train movements. Now let us see what happens to this rake which has come to the standing neck. As soon as this rake has reached the standing neck, these points will be normalized by the station master. Thereafter permission will be given to the shunting master to operate this shunting permitted indicator. At the base of this shunting permitted indicator there will be a lever which will be operated and operating that lever these two shunting permitted indicator will show yellow light cross bars. That means shunting is permitted along this line. When this shunting permitted indicator is in the off position from this shunting neck the rake can be taken to this any of these lines. Right. Suppose the trail rake is going to be taken to uh, road number 6. Shunting master will ensure that this point, here this point and also this point, these are properly set and also quarter bolt and locked. Then only he will back this train here on road 6 on hand signals. There is no possession light type shunt signals available in this yard. So only on hand signals the shunting will be undertaken. Now on backing this rig here, this engine is to be detached and it has to undertake other shunting work. This is road number 6 in which this rake is going to be secured. How it is going to be secured? This engine is to be taken out for further shunting purpose. So the rake is going to be stabled here. Before detaching this engine, they have to secure this rake. How they will secure? We will see. Normally the passenger train, there will be a brake van. So the brake van 
handbrake will be applied. First, they will apply handbrake. Thereafter, they will place two skids here. And the last wheel of the last coach, two skids will be placed on either side. Here one skid and here another skid. As in this case, you see, here one skid, here another skid will be placed. Thereafter, a safety chain will be used to hold this wheel, the last wheel with the rail. As in this case, you can see a safety chain is used to tie the wheel with that of the rail. So, two skids and one safety chain will be used at this end. In the similar way, this is the coach next to this shunting engine. Here also, they will use two skids and also one safety chain to keep this rake secured. This is how the passenger rake is secured in the yard. Thereafter only, they will detach this engine. I think I have already dealt with this detaching of this engine. So while detaching this engine, first they have to cut the air supply to the hose pipe in between the engine and the coach. This is the hose pipe and similar hose pipe will be here in this side also. And these two pipes will be connected in the middle. There will be a continuous passage for the air. Hose pipe is to be detached. Before that, they have to reduce the pressure in the hose pipe. Now the entire brake pipe system is having 5 kg pressure. In that pressure, if it is tried to be detached, that will be dangerous. So the pressure in this hose pipe is to be reduced. For that, they will turn this angle cock. This is the angle cock. Here this angle cock will be turned towards right. Here you can see the handle of this angle cock parallel to this pipe. When the handle of the angle cock is parallel to the pipe, that means the passage is through and the 5 kg pressure in the brake pipe is also there in the hose pipe. Now this handle will be turned perpendicular to it, like this. When that handle is turned, the continuity of this air is cut and the excess air or the pressure of the air will be reduced. Beneath the angle cock, there is a small hole. Through this hole, the air from the hose pipe will go out. So, the pressure inside this hose pipe will be reduced. They can detach the hose pipe. After detaching the hose pipe, the coupling between the engine and this coach will also be detached. Thereafter, the engine will move forward on getting the shunt signal or on getting the hand signal. So this is how it is done in the case of passenger coach. So suppose this is a good strain and it is to be stabled here. In that case, for securing purpose, they will apply handbrake of the last six wagons. All goods wagons will be having handbrake and last six wagons handbrake will be applied. In the similar way, six wagons handbrake will be applied in front also. So here in the front six wagons, in the rear side also six wagons handbrake will be applied. Thereafter, in the similar way, here as in the case of uh, uh, passenger coaches, two skids will be placed here and also the safety chain. Here also two skids will be placed and also safety chain. That is how the goods rake will be secured. Irrespective of this brake van, six wagons handbrake should be applied on one end and another six wagons handbrake should be applied on the other end. This is how goods rakes are secured in the yard. There are some other important points also to be noted during the securing of vehicles. Here you can see from the shunting neck after setting these points favorably for this train, the rake has been taken here. Now after securing this rake here, this point which is non-interlocked, it is locally operated point and that point should be set against this occupied line. So this point should be set against this occupied line means, suppose any other movement happens here, no trains 
or no wagons will come towards this and this is a locally operated point so it should be set against clamped and padlocked or quarter bolt and padlocked so that it cannot be operated immediately by anybody to make a movement towards this rake here in the yard you can see here the whenever the MRV or BD specially is stable here this trap point will be set open this trap point will be set open means if at all MRV moves by wind or by some other jerk or some is normally it will be secured here suppose it moves it will what will what will happen it will derail here in this trap in the same way BD special suppose it is moving by itself due to some uh, wind high wind or it is not properly secured suppose it is moving means it will derail in this trap it will not go into the line and infringe other lines here isolation of this MRV or BD special is ensured through by keeping the trap open in certain areas we can see the there will be uh, dead end so the dead end will be kept it to that particular line so that no trains will enter here suppose this train moves means it will go into the dead end here all these lines up to this road 4 are track circuited and all the points are machine operated these are all interlocked points in the case of interlocked points there is no necessity to clamp and padlock the points against the occupied line there is happens to be a one goods remaining here in that case this point should be set against this occupied line that is only setting against there is no clamping and padlocking here because there will be necessity to uh, free, have frequent movement over this line so it should be set against the occupied line interlocked points only to be set against the occupied line whereas non interlocked point should be set clamped and padlocked against the occupied line Okay, now you have got a fair idea about the operational work of railways through these 21 sessions of video. I think I have covered almost all important features of this operational works. Hereafter we will have videos on specific subjects like permanent way, railway electrification etc. Okay, let us meet in our next video. Okay.